what is up my spooky babes and ghouls so today i'll be filming a thrift haul i had just previously filmed a halloween haul and if you guys haven't seen that yet totally go check that out um but i'm gonna show you guys what i had thrifted for labor day basically everything in the thrift store was 50 percent off so i went a little crazy <laughs> but i did find a bunch of really cool stuff some really cool clothing some vines um but i'm just gonna jump right in so i basically washed everything already so i had like, everything hanging in my closet already but i'll just show you guys um some of this everything that i got this one i'll probably show it to you guys modeled i'll probably film that like tomorrow i don't feel like filming that tonight because i'm tired you guys but um this one this one is from the brand called hayden los angeles and i really like this top you can't really see it here you know, there's like a bunch of like detailing up here like floral detailing and it's really cute I like the way it just opens up it looks very really, like vampiric, um, something, um, I don't know, I just like it. Like, it's just a really flowy top, like, it's really cute. And the sleeves, you guys, the sleeves are amazing. Let me kind of show them to you, but I'll definitely show it to you as modeled. Look at these sleeves, they're like balloon sleeves. I just love these sleeves so much. Like, I like how, like, big they are, puffy, and then they even have some, like, the mesh and the lace up here, like, on the shoulders. I just love this shirt so much, you guys. I saw it, and I was like, yo, I totally need this. Like, it looks, like, really, like, it looks like something a vampire would wear, you know? It's, like, really loose and flowy. You wear, like, something like, really tight, skinny. This other top is from a brand called Pixie Hopkins. This one's actually a size medium, but this one fits me pretty perfectly. I am pretty much a size medium. Like, I'm kind of weird. Like, my sizing is weird. Like, I'm in between a medium and a small, so whatever. But fit in either or sometimes, most of the time. Um, this one's really cute. I like it. Like, it's black. Every, pretty much everything I got with black except for, like, one item. <laughs> but I think it'd be cute because um, to wear to something, like, like, for work. Um, the sleeves are kind of puffy. They're puff sleeves. And they have like ruffles in the front and it buttons up. I just love it so much. It kind of almost gives off like corp goth vibes or vampire, like a nice fancy vampire vibe. I just love it so much. I had washed it, but then I realized the tag says dry clean only, but it seems okay. It seems like in the same um, shape as I bought it, so I don't think it got ruined. <laughs> I don't know. This is, is, are there even dry cleaners around the, these days? Like, I feel like there's maybe like one back in my hometown. But I feel like I've never really seen a dry cleaners. What are happened to those? <laughs> okay, this next top, it's really cute, you guys. It's lace. It's, it's pretty much like all lace. And it just gives off like Victorian vibes. Like a Victorian like morning kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> I love it. Um... This reminds me of like, the stuff that H&M had released last year, and I just loved it so much. Of course, y'all can't see it right here because it's all just black, but I just like it so much. Like, the sleeves are just all lace, and they're kind of ruffly, and the neck. Um, the shirt, the, the top itself is, like, it has material underneath it, but, um, the like, the, the chest is, like, see-through. It's just all just lace, and I just love that detailing so much, and, like, the ruffles on it, too, as well. Gives off. I just love the morning, the the Victorian funeral vibe, you know? <laughs> I love it. Um, this brand, what, what brand is this one from? I forgot to mention that. Let me see, I don't see any tags on it, you guys. There is no tag on it. It's just, just like washing. Yeah, I don't see any other tags on it. Also, this one's a little bit tight on me. The thrift store, it says small. Um, it probably does fit small. My arms are probably just a little bit wider than it used to be. But, um, yeah, the sleeves are a little tight, but other than that, the shirt is fine. I like it. It's, it's a really cute top. Honestly, it was something that I had envisioned, like, before I even walked into the store, I was like, I'm gonna find a bunch of really cute-ass Victorian, vampire, gothic-looking stuff today. And I did find it, you guys. I manifested it. Even, like, some stuff for work as well, if I do have to show up for my internship. Um, I did start an internship, and I wanted some, like, really cute, nice stuff to wear. That looks like a professional goth would wear, you know, very corporate goth. <laughs> this one is actually my Cyrus, um collab with max azira i'm not sure if this is like the brand they had sold in walmart like many many years ago i'm not sure if it's this brand but i really like it it's sleeveless and it buttons up it's almost like high neck pretty much and it has like ruffles on the front of it i just love it so much it's basically like the same cut as the shirt i'm wearing right now and i just like it it kind of gives off like it gives off like the total like goth like corp goth vibe you know a vampire at work <laughs> i like it um the material is very it's pretty see-through but i like it either way like if i have to like to wear this as something like work then i, I obviously wear like another top underneath it but i really like 
the ruffles on the front. It's really cute. This next item is actually from Fashion Nova, but um, before even seeing the tag, I had actually just really liked it. Um, Fashion Nova is like a fast fashion brand, and fortunately, a lot of people are just do donating on their like their fast fashion stuff to thrift stores. So you can find like a lot of runway Fashion Nova Shein, but you know, so I'm not adding it honestly because sometimes they have some really cute stuff. So. I really like this bodysuit. This one's actually a bodysuit and it gives off Beetlejuice vibes. Like, even though the sleeves aren't horizontal stripes, but it still gives off Beetlejuice vibes. And I just really like the color on it, you guys. It's really cute. And the sleeves. Oh my goodness. The sleeves are so cute, you guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And they have like um like a velvet like ribbon to tie them off. I just love it so much. But yeah, this one is a bodysuit. Like, trying it on, it looks like a little bathing suit. Like, I don't know if I can get away wearing this to the beach, you guys. But it would look really cute to wear the beach. But I don't think this material will be great to swim in. <laughs> I don't know. It's really cute though. I like it. Kind of reminds me of like Sweeney Todd when they go to the beach. I love that so much. It also kind of reminds me of the outfit that, uh, oh, what's, her, what's her name? Christina Rick Ritchie wears in Sleepy Hollow. I mean, like that, that black and white striped dress. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, I'd probably wear this with like a skirt or like some like really. Like with, or like with black like flowy pants something like that it would be really cute and these pants you guys okay these pants I found you guys are amazing and I oh, this is like also one of those items that I didn't realize was dry clean only until I asked until like after taking out the wash I was like oh shit but it seemed okay I think it might just need I'm not sure if I can iron this because it's a little wrinkly it doesn't say anything about ironing or not ironing, that's what I'm scared of. Maybe I can steam it, get some of the wrinkles out. You can't really see it here on camera, but I just like how it, 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 it's pleated down the middle. And it's like a really wide straight leg. And honestly, I've been looking for some pants like this, you guys. Like, I have some like this already, but this one's like more, more, much more of like a nicer material. It's vintage. Um, you know an item is vintage when it says dry clean only. And, if, and also, it's also a really good quality material. I really like that so much. And the band is actually, it has like elastic in the back of it, so it stretches. And that's what I love about it too, so it's stretchy a little bit. And I just think it's really cute, you guys. Also, it smells really good because I have washed it and I used some like, um, oh, those like downy beads or something. I forgot what they're called, but they're, I got them at the Dollar Tree and they, they made my clothes smell really good. <laughs> I love it. And this last top, you guys, oh my god, I love it. It's a vampire's dream. Lestat would totally wear this. Um, this is from the brand called SK Wear by SK and Company. This one's obviously vintage. You can tell by the label because most vintage stuff have like embroidered labels. And it's, it's also like a nice material as well. But I just love it. It gives off like total like like old school like New Orleans vampires. Totally like something and maybe the vampire. But yeah, look at this guys. All the ruffles. I love it. And then the sleeves. Are, they're, they're wide sleeves. But they're pretty cool. They're not that long. They're like half length maybe, but I think they're really cute. And I feel like this one looks great with the previous pants I had just showed you guys. Like it just gives off total vampire vibes. But also if you wanted to throw in like, you know, just make it look more piratey, you can totally do that. Because pirates and vampires, you know, love the same kind of t-shirts. But I like this, you guys. I just like the ruffles in the front. But like I feel like the ruffles are a little bit too much because I feel really fluffy. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I don't know. When I wear stuff like this, it just makes me feel weird. <laughs> But yeah, I just, when I saw the shirt, you guys, I've been actually looking for, like, a top like this. Like, for something, like, something from, like, Interview the Vampire. Um, and I finally found something like this, you guys. Like, I had this in mind, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh, so I totally love it. A lot of stuff I got was mostly vintage. Um, maybe, like, the Miley Cyrus and the Fashion Nova item were more new. I just like finding, like, vint like really nice, gothic-looking vintage pieces of clothing. Oh, that one Victorian looking top, that one, I don't know what brand that one's from, like it might be from something like Forever 21 or maybe even H&M or something like that. But I couldn't find like a brand tag on it, only like a uh, care, like an instruction tag on it. But whatever, it's fine. I don't care if it's vintage or new or fast fashion, like as, you know, if it's nice, then I'll totally like it. Like I don't really mind finding a lot of fast fashion items in stores, like it kind of sucks because like the quality is lower, you guys. But there's some like really cute stuff, like that Fashion Nova stuff, top I found, like the bodysuit I found, it's pretty cute, so I like it. I'm not mad about it. Hey guys, it's Future Denise, and I basically forgot to mention this dress. Honestly, I had forgot about it. Like, I didn't mean to forget about it because it's honestly my favorite dress, and it's the most comfiest dress I've ever worn. But it was kind of just hiding away in my closet, so here it is. 
Um, of course, I'll show it to you. It's modeled. It's really soft. And it has it's like a flannel material. It's very soft. Perfect for fall weather, you guys. It's from the brand Wild Fable, which is a Target brand. That's the brand they currently have right now for like mainly the junior section. And I like that brand a lot because they have a bunch of really cute um, clothing items, especially like this dress. So I'm really happy to have found something like this in a thrift store. I think I might have got this for like maybe like a few bucks, honestly. Like with the like 50% off. So yeah, so I just wanted to mention this dress because it's super cute. And honestly, this color goes really well with me, guys. Even my boyfriend had said that it looks really nice on me, so... I do like dark greens, and it looks like a dark blue as well, so I guess I like good colors. Also, this necklace you guys will see that I'll be modeling throughout the video. This is from Nightingale Embroidery. Make sure you do follow them on Instagram and Twitter. I think the Twitter is calling Daves or Davis, I don't remember. But I'll make sure to link their um, website or Instagram and Twitter down below in the description box. That way you guys check out this beautiful, their beautiful works of art or drawing they make, because... This was like a one of a kind kind of necklace. I was lucky enough to snag this necklace, you guys, because it is beautiful work of art. <laughs> so yeah, back to the video. And then I went over to like where they had like the old like stuff, like old dolls and shit. I found this guy. I thought she was cute. A little creepy. Um, she was originally twelve ninety one, so she came off like half price of that. Um. I think she's cute though, but I do plan on dyeing her dress black. I think, I feel like this would all look really cute in black, honestly. Yeah, it's literally like a Victorian kind of morning kind of vibe. And I was thinking, I don't know if I can remove her hair somehow and just redo it. Like I want to like make her like a new like wig or like a new, you know, whole head. Because like this, this hair is like really nappy, you guys. Like it's cute, but like it's not that great anymore. I don't know. I have to look that up because I don't know if I can remove hair from porcelain dolls. Oh yeah, it looks like I can. I just got to cut it all off. But it looks like it's glued on though. Yeah, like there's a whole like lot of glue here. I don't know. I have to figure it out. And I kind of want to like repaint her face maybe. Give her some makeup. Make her look creepy. Just a little bit. I want I want her to look very Victorian. But she's also missing a shoe. So that kind of sucks. She also has, um, what are these called? Bloomers? I'm not sure about I, th I think I might just leave these ones white actually. I think that would actually look cute, but most of the stuff is probably, this is all going to be dyed black, it's the whole dress. But yeah. Oh no, the lace is falling off the dress. Oh no. <laughs> that sucks. But yeah, she's really cute though, either way, but I want something darker, you know, darker looking. And I don't know what to do with her shoe situation, because she's only got like one shoe. Oh, it has the name of a kid down here. It's like, it's like from Toy Story, her name's Whitney, or well, the kid's name is Whitney, Oh, I wonder whose doll this was. <laughs> now I kind of feel bad if I'm gonna dye it black and everything, but I mean, I'm gonna get it all in life. I don't know, <laughs> I feel bad now. It says 12.91, so I'm assuming this was given to this child on Christmas in the year 1991, I'm assuming, by the date on the shoe. Oh, this is so cute though. Oh, I'm definitely gonna leave the shoe white for sure i think that would look cute but oh my god i feel so sad i kind of feel sad when i see stuff like this like toys with like people's name on it like i found this one like really like old i can't i need to find her because I, I i like her so much but um i have like this old doll that I thrifted at the same store and she's like i guess she's like one of those like dolls that you that they used to like make like this they, they would just come like on fabric and you just cut them out sew them stuff them they're just like basically a flat fabric doll and she looks kind of creepy but I love her <laughs> and on the under the dress there's I guess the person had sewn like the brand tag on it and it says it's like a note on it to some someone it's a to whoever it was um love you or it was like merry christmas or something like that and it said from grandma or something like that and I was like oh my god that's so sad like who would give away like Something like that that her grandma had made on me, you know, like, oh, that makes me so sad. But yeah, this is really cute, you guys. But I think I am gonna dye her black, but oh, I just feel sad just, like, discovering this. But I will definitely give her a new life and a new love, a new home, so I'm really excited about that. And I kind of like the way her head's all tilted, too. It's adorable. And then, I found this other porcelain doll as well. I haven't taken her out of box, her bag yet. This one was nine ninety eight, so I got that for half off. I was like, might as well. Um, give her a new life because her head is becoming detached. Like, it's still hanging out by its thread, but I thought it'd be kind of cute just to do something like that with that, you know? I think it's just the strings in her are loose because even the arms are a little loose. I'm not sure if there's a way to tighten that, but I kind of like the way it is. 
the head's just hanging, so I'm thinking of like maybe painting it thread red to make it look like uh, like blood or something, or like just like the insides of the neck, you know, the spine or something. I don't know. But I kind of want to paint that red. And also dye her clothes black as well. If I can, I'm not sure if I can even remove the clothing from this doll. I might be able to. And maybe paint her hat black as well, if I can get it off. It looks like it's glued on, but thinking of doing something like that. I think it'd just be really cute to do, just to give this doll new life, because she's obviously, you know, not in that great shape. But yeah, <laughs> I thought she was cute. <laughs> Very cute, gothic, Victorian looking. Love that. <laughs> so that'll be it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for checking out, sticking around. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also make sure you do hit that notification bell down below. So that way you guys do be notified whenever I do post videos in the future. I will be posting a bunch of really cool, awesome makeup tutorials for Halloween. So you guys need to check that out. Also make sure you check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for more awesome content. Also make sure you follow me on Depop. I, do, I am selling stuff from my personal closet ranging from sizes extra small to large. I have a bunch of really cool band tees and some gothic pieces in there as well. So you guys go check that out and buy from my shop. So yeah, so that will be it for today's video. So I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful and spooky day. Bye guys!